comments from Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Scarrett in Rosa, which are certain to reverberate around the sub regional capitals and beyond. You're going to need a construct like Leah. And that's why I want to thank the Prime Minister Antigua and Barbuda for his heroic efforts in at least having a couple of the planes flying and, and providing the service, albeit not to the original level um, that, we, that we are accustomed to. Prime Minister Scarrett calls the transportation woes a regional emergency. He says he was criticized when his administration took the decision to invest in Liat 1974, but he says he cautioned his critics that Liat's services are crucial to the region. He therefore has this view about how to address the challenges of regional transportation. I do not believe that there's any other entity that can reasonably be expected to, re to replace the functions of Liat in the region. And government's investments in air transportation in the region cannot be replaced by private sector investments only. That governments must invest in regional, intra-regional travel. He says that's because intra-regional travel is a public good and private entities will only fly routes which are commercially viable. But will his government put its money where its mouth is? This is affecting all of us so badly you understand? And our economies, in a dramatic way, that since the departure of Liat from the regional scene. Okay, and, and I'm saying that Dominica is prepared to, as we've met, and we're prepared to, to play our part financially. But you absolutely need a construct like Liat to, that will be complemented by the private sector airlines to give you the kind of service that you really need in these islands. The comments from Prime Minister Scarrett are almost a replica of what Prime Minister Brown told ABS News in a recent interview. I'm of the view that the OECS sub-region in Barbados should have a public sector entity to form the core of regional transportation and that that airline, whatever it is called, could be supplemented by the private carriers. One of the risks that um, countries in the region run by relying almost extensively on private sector entities is that they will not operate on profitable routes. And if they do so, it will be at an extortionate cost. So two prime ministers on one accord on the way forward, can they get more buy-in from their other sub-regional colleagues? And would this consensus translate into tangible investments? Or will turbulence continue to affect regional transportation?